Here is HD9030 Walk Lab Digital Dissolve Oxygen Meter by Trans Instruments. The Walk Lab Meter is designed for indoor and outdoor measurement. The meter comes in a hard carrying case where user is able to carry it anywhere in the field. Unlock the case by lifting the red latch. Let us run through the items in the package. We have here the main meter, one dissolved oxygen probe with temperature sensor, two spare membrane cap, a bottle of electrolyte solution, a calibration screwdriver, one 9 volt battery, the operation manual, and the salinity effect conversion table. Please read the operation manual carefully before beginning. First, install the battery by opening the battery cover behind the unit. Locate the battery clip and snap it on the 9V battery according to its polarity. When the low battery sign appears on the LCD, replace it with a new 9V battery with the same procedure. Switch on the meter. Perform zeroing if display does not show 00.0. .0. Locate the zero adjust trimmer with the screwdriver and adjust it till it displays 00.0. .0. Zeroing is now completed. Attach the probe by inserting the plug connector with screw facing upwards. Then plug it into the socket of the meter. Push the lock ring over and turn clockwise to firmly lock it in place. The oxygen probe consists of a diaphragm membrane cap housed over the probe head. This diaphragm is rather delicate and flimsy and is easily damaged if it comes into contact with solid objects or subjected to blows. An erratic reading indicates that the electrolyte has dried up or the diaphragm is punctured or damaged. For first-time use or membrane maintenance, do the following procedures. Remove the protective cap. Soak the sponge in water to keep the membrane moist at all times. Carefully unscrew the diaphragm membrane cap. Notice the O-ring that comes with the cap and make sure you do not lose it for proper sealing. Half fill the cap with electrolyte. Carefully screw back the cap with the O-ring till fully tightened. Switch on the meter and wait for 30 minutes for the probe to be fully polarized before proceeding to calibration. Note. Probe must be polarized for 30 minutes every time the meter has been switched off or unplugged from the probe for more than 5 seconds. Calibration must be performed under a wide and well ventilated area. Position the probe with head pointing downwards. Select the read or cow switch to cow position. Switch on the meter and wait for 30 minutes. Observe the display. If no variation on the readings are shown, Use the screwdriver to adjust the calibration trimmer until it displays 20.9. Slide the read or cal switch to read position. The unit is now ready for measurement. A note of caution, after each successive calibration, never adjust two trimmers until next calibration. Calibration should be performed before a series of measurement. Dip the probe into the test solution with at least 5 cm below water line. If there is evidently a large temperature difference between ambient and water temperature, wait for about 10 to 15 minutes for full temperature compensation to take place in the probe. As this is a polarographic sensor, it consumes oxygen on the surface of the membrane. Therefore, you are required to stir or jiggle the probe continually to refresh the membrane. If a magnetic stirrer is employed, set it to stir at 0.2 or 0.3 mm per second. Wait for a stabilized reading before recording. This DO meter can only measure fresh water and at sea level of 760 mmHg. Therefore, reading must be converted if measurement is done in marine or brackish water. Use the attached salinity conversion table to easily convert displayed reading on the meter to the real DO reading. You must first find the salinity value of the water you are measuring in PPT. After receiving a stabilized reading, locate the same number on the first left column in the table. Run your finger across the same row till the column matches the salinity of the liquid tested. The numbers under the salinity column are the real DO readings. If water is 0 ppt, 
no conversion is required. When the probe has been used for some time, the silver coil anode and the gold cathode inside the electrolyte container may get tarnished because of polarization. Unscrew and remove the meter. Then unplug the probe connector from the meter. To clean the silver coil anode, soak the probe into 3% ammonium hydroxide solution overnight. After soaking, rinse with deionized water. If chemical is not available, polishing the silver with extra fine sandpaper can be a substitute. To clean tarnished gold cathode, use only silver polishing cloth to polish until the bright gold color appears. After polishing, flush sensor with water. Blot dry and replace with new diaphragm membrane cap and electrolyte. Probe must be left overnight to allow sensor to be stabilized without powering the meter. The next day, plug the probe connector to the meter. Switch on meter and perform calibration with proper as previous procedures. Note, the probe should only be cleansed when erratic breathing occurs or after about 500 hours of use. Each cleaning removes material and reduces the life of the probe. Excessive cleaning should be avoided. This is all for the brief introduction to HD9030 Walk Lab Dissolve Oxygen Meter by Trans Instruments. Thank you.